Hey Libra, this is your reading for late May of 2023. Please remember this is a collective reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. And if it does resonate, please hit the like button and you can check the description box below if you are interested in a personal reading, okay? So I've already shuffled the cards and cleared the energy and I am going to pull your spread now, okay? A lot of energy here, Libra. A lot of strong energy here for Libra tonight. I like doing the cards like this because I can um, read the cards for you, of course, but I can feel the energy of the cards before I pull them. I feel a lot of emotion here coming from some of you, Libra. I feel like there's high emotion. There may be sadness from some of you about a love situation. Like, I feel like you're torn. I feel like you don't know which way to go. Like you got into something and now you're not sure how to back out of it or if you want to. It's not what you thought it was going to be. Okay, let's see where this goes. Yeah, there's a marriage. Oh, wow. Okay. First thing up. This is exactly what I was seeing. Here's the um, commitment and marriage card right next to the wishes card. You know, getting your wish, but it's upside down. So there's a marriage. It's what you wanted. You married the person you wanted, but your wish is not making you happy. Something's really, really off there with a relationship. There was something about the relationship you got into it or your person got into the marriage because of work, because of maybe wanting to do a business together, wanting to uh, be an entrepreneur. There's a little side thing there. It was almost like a business for, I mean, a, yeah, business, a marriage for business, a marriage for money, a marriage for because of work, that sort of thing. We'll get more as we go along. There's an upside down queen of pentacles. Yeah, there's something about, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is the money queen. She's very smart and she's very intuitive. She has a lot going for her besides money, but she's showing up upside down. And often that can be a woman who is edgy. You know, she's on the edge. She's feeling uptight. She doesn't have money anymore or she's using it carelessly or something like that. And underneath there's waiting for a new opportunity. Um, for work and money and new creativity and things like that. So I feel like maybe the money wasn't all that this person thought it was. There's so there's something really upside down about finances and commitments and things like that work in this picture already. And I feel like that's really affecting this marriage because that's what it was based on. Because what I'm seeing so far is it, I feel like the commitment was based more on that than it was on heart energy, maybe. At least for somebody in this picture. There's a lot of trouble here. I see Libra leaving behind. I feel like there's been, you know, this is Six of Swords reversed. I feel like some of you have been through a lot of trouble. You've been through a situation that was really unhappy and disharmonious and really difficult, you know, really stressful. But I do see that moving into your past. So let's see what's coming up in your future. Oh, these are good. Better future here, Libra. <laughs> coming up in your near future, um, Lady Luck is on your side. So this is the Wheel of Fortune turning, and it's turning back around to your favor. And I feel like you've been doing some kind of manifesting, maybe vision boards, or um, maybe even some of you... Um, I don't know, contacting other readers, things like that, trying to push the energy forward. And it seems to be working because those two things of manifesting good fortune are side by side. However, Libra, it's worn you out. <laughs> all that success and all the work you've been doing, I mean, I see really clearly here, this is 10 of wands and this has come up for so many signs tonight. Everybody's worn out from working so hard. And that's what this is, carrying a heavy load, feeling really stressed, you may be having back problems, headaches, um, you know, anything that involves a heavy load um, that you've been carrying around. You know, your body is um, showing that, your body's feeling it. So, um, 
some of your hopes and fears here. This is the hopes and fears card it has to do with potentially a daughter. Um, this could be um, you're thinking about a daughter, maybe worries about family, could be even a, a granddaughter, could be even a neighbor, you know, somebody you know, somebody you're close to, you know, who's like a daughter, that kind of thing. This is showing up. This is also can be the psychic card. This is um, the high priestess. But I don't know. It felt like daughter to me when I pulled it up. First thing. It's right beside a father card too, come to think of it. Because here's your king of wands. He's next. So these two go together. And I feel like this is big in your picture right now. You know, it may be that you're thinking about this committed relationship that's, you know, kind of off the tracks. Feeling like you, you know, you got your wish, but it's not really working out the way you wanted. And you're thinking about the impact on your daughter. You're thinking about, his, you know, the father of this daughter. And, you know, he looks like a pretty good guy, but apparently there's something here that's not making you happy. They're not showing me big love here. They're showing me trouble. They're showing me swords. They're showing me success and money and things like that. Um, but, I don't know, something off here. Let me pull a few more cards. Oh, here's one I missed. Ah, I pulled this one, yeah, down because it had a weird energy. It's the five of wands. So I feel like you're dealing with some people here who don't have your best interest in mind. These can be competitors. You might be in a competitive business or you might be in a competitive relationship and you don't even know it. You're being placed in a competition. Uh, this is people working against your best interest, you know. So let's see what else. Let's pull this other deck, a couple of cards here, Libra. See if we can clarify. You're going through a lot here. You know, I'm just going to keep it real. It looks like some of you really go into a lot of inner turmoil. And I feel like it's, you know, it's kind of taking its toll on you because it's showing me this ten of wands representing you. So, <clears throat> Okay, so here's the two of cups. This looks like things coming together on multiple levels. Let me see what else it shows. Why are they showing me two cups? Oh, okay. So right beside it, we've got three of swords. So I feel like this relationship that is kind of off the tracks may start to come back together, but then it separates altogether. So keep that in mind. That's um, That looks like quite a roller coaster there. I mean, it's side by side. It's like you want to be back with this person, but then there's this heartache. I don't know, there's been a lot of pain that's gone on with this relationship. And here we have the emperor, and the emperor has to do with, you know, um, the man in control. He can also be a father. This came up again, his father. And he can also have to do with real estate, physical structures, you know, things like that. Builders, people, people that do that sort of thing, renovations. And he came up right here next to your page of pentacles. So there is some small amount of money potentially coming into some of you. Um, some of you may be taking some classes, maybe learning some different ways to make money, learning about real estate. Um, you may meet this emperor or you already know this emperor, but I feel like there's something about learning, investing, saving, things about money. You know, a lot of this is about money here and some relationships splitting up. Here we have the two of wands. So I feel like there's somebody watching you for one thing, but not in a creepy way, but maybe standing back in the wings, kind of watching to see what you're going to do. And also some new opportunities that you have not seen coming yet. Let me get one more here for Libra tonight. Yeah, here's your tired card again. Here's this four of wands and this is having to do with taking a respite. You know, it's like you want to just kind of go take a nap, get away from it. You might be meditating. You might be pulling back from this situation. And it kind of looks like, honestly, you need to. And this may be advice for Libra as well to kind of pull back for a little bit and let the dust settle and let some of these secrets be revealed and see what comes up and see where you want to go next. But you do have the Wheel of Fortune in your immediate future this month. And um, good things coming to you, you know, like the magic being restored in a lot of ways. So um, I know divine help is on the way and you guys hang in there. And again, if you need a personal reading, you can contact me um, in the description box. I'll leave some information there. And if you're still watching at this point, thank you so much for um, 
watching the reading. If it resonated, please do click the like, subscribe if you'd like, and I hope you do, and I hope to see you again soon.